All right. <clears throat> on this journey, some people will not give a fuck mm -hmm. about it, about what you're doing, and just won't won't care anymore. Like they just won't vibrate with you. Like you'll go back, you'll call someone you haven't spoke to in a while that you used to do everything with, and you're like, hey man, let's go to the strip club, let's let's go to this party, let's go to the club. You have no desire for it. You just don't care. And then you tell them no, they'll plead their case, and then they won't really have anything else in common with them after that. You know, money, cars, girls, all this stuff, like, they just won't vibe at the same wavelength. Like, you won't be tuned into the same channel. Like, you know, and you'll have to just accept it, let it go, and just let them be who they are. You can't try and be the spiritual hero I'm gonna save everyone. This is the way, this is what you need to do. They'll find their time and when they do, they do. And you know, they serve their purpose. You know, you know, they, they call it, you know, you're suffering, you know, it is what it is. They don't fucking care. Who cares? Move on, you know, but I won't have any friends. Yes, you will. You will attract the right people. So the more you're getting honest and congruent with yourself, doing things you genuinely are surrendered to and love the right people will show up they will put them in place the universe god whoever will put the people who are meant to be in your life to help you out there in place the sooner you realize this the sooner you can get with them and move through your life you know we, you know i'm 41 apparently half my life's over no big deal i'm cool with it i'm doing all right the reason I can talk like this and really express and say this stuff is because I've been on, well, technically I've been on both sides or I'm on both. I, I was on one side for 40 years of my life. I was able to work hard, get a million dollars, get the cars, get the girls, do the party, travel, did the whole thing, everything that you could even dream about. It was fun, it was easy. It was fast and I would just live life and I would just do it, go, 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 nonstop. I didn't give a shit about anything. You know, if you were one of these woke people, you couldn't talk to me about anything in, in, if it didn't deal with money, cars, women, partying, any of that stuff, attention seeking behavior, don't care. Food, don't care. You know, so I lived that, like I honestly, genuinely lived that. And during the time, it was fun, cool. I was never ever fulfilled, satisfied, content. My heart was never really, really full, I had fun. And having a full heart is not the same as being satisfied with who you are inside. It's still, it's still an attachment. It's still like a bit of like ego and, you know, that's a whole nother topic, you know, but okay. so. I never felt like that full on satisfaction, whether I did it or didn't do it, it didn't matter. I was always who I am and I was always who I will be and I can just keep moving through life, you know, and enjoy the highs and enjoy the lows and just be honest with it. So I would just mask all my insecurities with, I work so hard, look at all this money, look how hard I work, look at my car, look at my clothes, look at where I live, look at what I do, hey, look at me. But don't really look at me, just look at the outside. So I really lived that. And during that time, I never ever thought about who I am. I always said yes to everything because it's like, oh, you know, I'll just buy another one. I'll buy this, I'll do that. So I never ever had to really say no because I never ever wanted to say no in my life. You know, growing up, I was told no all the time and I'd have to give a song and a dance, like, hey, I need new shoes, no. You don't need new shoes, you know, they got holes in them. So then I would have to plead this whole case, do this whole sales pitch to try and get the new shoes because everyone else had new shoes. I wanted new shoes. And my parents would just say no and not get me the new shoes. You know, we were average income, you know, but I just couldn't, you know, I wasn't able to get them. So I had to take it upon myself and come up with these survival skills, which I'm really thankful for now because I'm able to communicate well in sales. Um, I'm not afraid to talk to people, sell items, whatever you want, you know, whatever. So that developed a skill in me, a survival skill. You know, that manipulation, I'm not proud of it, 
and being salesy, but it is who I am and it made me who I am today, I guess. You, you understand what I'm saying? So like, you know, then as I got a little older, I was like, I'm not gonna depend on anybody. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna do it all on my own. So then I'm like, okay, I use my survival skills that I learned at a young age, how to be an extremely good salesman. I could sell myself, I could sell anything. Water to a well, I was good. So I did that, I made a ton of money. Okay, survival skills, that worked. Uh, maybe I didn't get a lot of attention when I was younger and I didn't need anybody and I was a one-man show, boom, there I go. You know, now I'm a one-man show. You know, people are coming around me, you know, I'm dangling the carrot, I have all the cash, I have the money, I have the cars, I'm doing all this stuff, I'm living the American dream, whatever you wanna call it. I got the hot girlfriend, you know, blah, 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 all this stuff, like, all this stuff. You know, it never took a minute to like, appreciate myself, slow down, eat good food. I never ate vegetables until probably like five years ago, no shit. Besides like chicken and broccoli from the Chinese restaurant, I never ate vegetables ever until like three years ago. So honestly, I lived on the other side, very, very unconscious, so I totally, totally get it. And it's an easy, repeatable lifestyle, like wake up, do your routine, get paid, go hang out, get drunk, whatever, pass out, meet girls, blah, 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 do this, do that, and just repeat. And, you know, as long as I have the house, the car, the kids, everything's good. You know, I've done my job in life and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I just, you know, something inside me always knew there was much, much more to this than, you know, get all the money, have the house, have the family, do this and, 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 and die or whatever. Like something inside me knew that there was way more to life than this. And it's not normal at all. And I would have never believed it. I'd make fun of these people like, oh, you're crazy being, excuse me, vegetarian. Oh, you're wild for, for not wanting to drink. Oh, you're this for doing yoga. You're not cool because you don't smoke weed. You're not cool because you don't just talk about money. You're not cool because you, you don't care about houses and cars and stuff like that. You know, so I wouldn't associate with them, I'd put them down. So it was easy to live in this other world because there was plenty of people that would live in this world with me and we would just keep feeding off each other. And if that person wasn't around, there's another person. There's always somebody willing to do some bullshit with you at all times. You know, there's always somebody. You know, is it fulfilling? Does it feel good? No. In the moment, you get the dopamine hit, it feels good. You do all these things, you pass out, repeat, and just keep doing it over and over, whether it's drugs, gambling, alcohol, food, um, too much yoga, too much gym, overworking out, overcompensate, anything. It can be anything. You have to take a hard look at like why you're really doing this stuff. Like, why am I really going to the gym twice a day? Is it because I wanna feel healthy in my body or is it because I wanna have abs so everybody can look at me and I can deflect that part of my personality or whatever it might be. You know, why am I vegan and walking around touting vegan, da 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 da? Is it because I just wanna change the world because I really wanna change the world and that's my life purpose? Which it isn't, like that's not why we're here is to like go around and change the world. That's more the mind thinking they can do something. Like in all this talk right now, nothing was surrendered. Even the vegan person trying to change everyone's mind to protect the animals, that's still being a hero and like acting out and, you know, it's still got a bit of the edging, the lust behind it, the agenda. It's not pure. It's still a dopamine hit. It's not a full on surrender of who you are. You know, like once you do that, you won't have to talk about what you're doing. You won't have to fight these cases. You just kind of do your thing and move through life. You won't speak about it like you will not talk about it you will not start these crazy you won't, you just won't talk about it like once you're surrendered you'll just be so humble and just realize like i've really surrendered and i'm allowing the life force god conscious whatever you want to call it come through you do what it needs to do and move on and just eat up all the karma you know if you're meant to have a wife it'll show up and you'll deal with that situation and you'll deal with the wife and kids that's who you're meant to be if you're not, 
you'll just keep doing your work. If you're meant to go through that trauma or karma of, you know, having the wife, a divorce, and just ha you have to experience it. Like you can't run from this stuff. Like you cannot run from it. Like if you're like, no, I'm gonna be celibate. I don't wanna deal with women, da 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 da. You have no choice. If you're really surrendered, it'll keep showing up. And when it shows up, you answer the call, you do what you need to do and keep surrendering. If it's gonna be a loss for you, you gotta take that loss. And just know that it's okay. Like if the breakup happens, so be it. Next, keep moving, keep moving, learn the lesson and just keep surrendering because God or whoever put these people in place to teach you a lesson, to this is your karma, if this is what it's supposed to be, then this is what it's supposed to be and then you move through it together and then that's all another story about a relationship and the growth and the karma and working with each other and growing and empowering, but that's a whole nother story. If it's genuine and it's honest, like you'll feel this crazy love when that happens. Like this will be a whole nother topic, but just real quick, you'll feel like, like you'll see them as a mother, you'll see them as a child and two kids. It's crazy, crazy when you experience this. You know, and then the surrender to it is to just keep letting it be. Don't put a label on it. Don't box it up. Don't have any expectations. There's no outcome. They can come, they can go and just create a massive container for that love to live in. And it doesn't have to look a certain way because in society, we're programmed like, I need to date her. I need to date her for seven months. And then I sleep with her after 12 months. And then she really likes me. And then she meets my family. And then everything lines up. And then we have a baby. And then we do this. And then... We only eat this kind of food for our children and we live like robots and we just follow this plan and we pay our taxes and we go to work and then we die. Okay. That doesn't sound too fun. Okay, I blacked out my whole time. Okay, I don't remember any of it and then you die. YOLO. You know, people be like, oh, you only live once. I'm like, right, but you die a million times and you keep dying over and over. We're living to die, how about that? Every time we die, we grow. Every time you die, you grow. Get it? You surrender a piece of you, it dies off. A new one grows. The more you die, the more you grow. You get it? 